What's up guys, Drugnox here, and welcome back to another episode of FIFA 13 Career Mode with Liverpool. This episode we have got our final group game in the Europa League against Bayer Leverkusen, and then we're back into the Premier League for another two games, so hopefully we can get some more points on the table. So, first game is against Bayer Leverkusen. We drew 2 all in the, uh, the last game we played with them. They are currently top of our group in the Europa League. So if we are to finish top of the group instead of second, we need a win. We can't draw, we can't lose, otherwise we'll finish second and we'll more than likely get some slightly harder opponents in the next round. So we have to win this game to finish top of the group. We've definitely qualified, so if we draw or lose, there's no chance we're going to be out. And um, there's a bit of a controversy at the moment, actually, because Suarez is refusing to sign a new contract, obviously because he believes that he's worth more. But he doesn't want to sign the contract, so it looks like he might move in January. So I'll mention that again later on in the video. But how about that for a goal from Schirler? 11 minutes gone against his old club. A fantastic dribble into the box and what a shot. It's very sloppy defending, though, from me seven minutes later. And in the 18th minute, by Leverkusen. Have got an equalising goal scored by Cardozo. Good chance there from Suarez with the free kick. Schürrle again just shooting wide. I tell you what, Schürrle played fantastically in that game. Great opportunity there for Suarez. Couldn't finish it though. And look at that for an awful mistake there by Reina. Right on the half hour mark. And Bender puts by Leverkusen back in the lead. So, oh, so frustrated at this point. Reina has been shocking for me so far this season. To be fair to him, he's kept quite a few clean sheets, but mm, he hasn't been too good. So anyway, I brought in some subs at half-time to try and turn the game round, and it sure enough did. 62 minutes gone, and we're back level. Fantastic goal from Suarez. And fantastic chance for Cardoso to get his second shooting just wide, fortunately. Another great chance there from Bender. His diving header just going wide, though. So 84th minute now. Rushing forward. A hack to score this to finish top of the group. Raheem Sterling. Oh... He's just hit the post, so so unlucky there. The game finished two all. So these are the groups in the Europa League. You can see here all the teams that are going through. Uh, Atletico Madrid were top of Group B, A, sorry, and there were there were Tottenham and Anzi Makalakalula, whatever they're called, from um, from Russia are through. Then of course Bayer Leverkusen top of our group. We're second. Napoli f finishing top of Group E. Then we've got uh, FC20, Newcastle also through. Marseille, Lazio. So we've got some very tough opponents that are through. Inter Milan, I reckon, are favourites to win the tournament. Don't know how they managed to get into the Europa League. But so, yeah, if we, if we want to win it, then we've got some very tough opponents coming up. It's GSK Moscow own in their group as well. 18 out of possible 18 points, so fantastic for them. So our next game then is against Aston Villa at home in the Premier League. So we should really be getting three points from this. So a bit of a weaker lineup. We're playing Borini up front instead of Suarez, who's refusing to sign a new contract at the moment. We've still got Cortez at the back because Agger has got a slight injury. He's going to be back soon, though. And Aston Villa have got they've got some decent players, the likes of Ben and Agbonhor, so this could be this could prove to be quite difficult. It's a great chance there for Schurler. I'll tell you what, Schurler is absolutely incredible for me at the moment. And look at that for a miss there from Darren Bent. Don't know why we missed that. Another good opportunity for Schurler. He shoots though and it's saved and it just goes over. So twenty minutes gone. Steven Gerrard, another fantastic chance. And But it's Nuri Sahin that gets us the goal. 24 minutes gone. Shot deflected into the bottom corner. Another chance there for Asaidi. Unlucky to miss that. Joe Allen as well shooting wide. So as you can see, we're dominating this game. Another opportunity for Schürrle. So we're getting so many chances here. And oh, someone's gone down. It's Barini. So we're forced to bring on Suarez. It is a permanent injury, unfortunately, for Barini. And a couple of minutes later, we've got Gerard going down as well. So I had to bring Draxler on. So half time it's 1-0. We've got two players injured. Look at this for a chance from Schürrle. Absolutely phenomenal. 48 minutes gone. Just dribbled inside the box and shoots in. Great chance there from Agbonlahor. It's a good save though. Unlucky there. Draxler managed to win possession 
right on the edge of the box but couldn't quite put it away. And that's a fantastic goal from Shearer. To be honest, I think he's our best player at the moment. I mean, even Suarez. Suarez, I mean, he got that goal for us against Bayer Leverkusen, but all the controversy over his new contract and all that. So as you can see here, we got a couple of injuries. Gerald's going to be out for three months, unfortunately, so he'll be back with us around February time. And um, Barini is not out for that long. And about three, four weeks, I think Barini's out for. And as you can see there, that's the uh, contract problem with Suarez. So he might have to go in January, unfortunately. But uh, at the end of the video, I'll, I will speak a bit more about that because I've got some possible options. As, of course, we are now in December. I didn't even realise. I thought, wow, this has gone really quick. But we've actually got, we've got Aga and Enrique back from injury, so we've got a much stronger defence now, even though our midfield is going to be slightly weaker without Gerrard. So we've still got Suarez up front despite his uh, contract problems, but we've always got uh, replacements for him on the bench. Decided to put youngster Danny Pacheco on the bench as well. He's a fantastic young talent. I haven't played him this season, but I should do, to be honest. You know, I, I want to play my young players more. Flanagan as well on the bench there. I think he's our young right back. So I'm actually going to be starting Kelly now right back instead of Johnson and then of course Enrique left back. I don't know, I just think Kelly's been in much better form than Johnson. I haven't really like, I don't know, I haven't been impressed with Glenn Johnson so far this season. So I'm going to give Kelly a chance. So, against Fulham now, again at home. And as Andy Gray would say, the snow is snowing. So we're right, we're right in the middle of December now. So, uh, two... Good chances there for Suarez with the uh, with the free kicks. And look at this for a really crappy goal. Reina did well to save the first shot from Berbatov. But Brian Ruiz knocks in the rebound. So we're losing 1-0. A great run from Suarez into the box. But he shoots just wide, unfortunately. Schürrle again with an opportunity. Unlucky not to finish that. And guess who? Again, it's Schürrle. Squares it and Asaidi taps it in. Asaidi, I tell you what, he's fantastic, fantastic at getting into opportunities like that. So that is one all at half time. We're in the 88th minute now. Sahin, fantastic cross and what a header. Again, it's Asaidi the res bringing us to the rescue. And we finally get the three points there. So it's 2-1. So look at the league table now. Man U still top. We're two points behind and we're three points ahead of Arsenal who are in third place. Man City in fourth. Chelsea in fifth and Spurs are in sixth. So I was looking as well, if we do have to sell Suarez, he's going to go for it about 23 to 25 million. So as you can see, we've already got a transfer budget of only 1.5 million. So that would give us about at least 25 million to work with. So I'm just looking at potential strikers that we can sign now. So along the likes of Benzema, maybe even Mario Gomez. You'll, you can see the ones that I'm looking at now as I'm scrolling down. So if you've got any suggestions, guys, I want to hear your suggestions. If... The case becomes that I have to sell Suarez in January, or the board sell Suarez. Then give me some suggestions. Who should I sign? What which striker do you want to see come to Liverpool? So thanks for watching, guys. I've been Juggernox, and I will see you next time.